Last week, we explored the remote Indian Ocean island of Rodriguez. We will go to Mauritius. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Mauritius is only a 350 nautical mile sail from Rodriguez and it took us two nights and one full day. First challenge was to find where to check in. Apparently it was here somewhere on the Cordan waterfront. Eventually somebody waved us over and instructed us to tie up alongside this restaurant. But before too long customs immigration came and found us. spent the night relaxing and then the next day we moved to the Cordan Marina where we would stay for a week and enjoy Port Louis. After getting our fill of Starbucks, it was back to Jupiter, where this strange machine was sniffing around the hull. It turns out this is a ship hull cleaner, and this thing can clean an entire ship's hull in one evening. Our next challenge was to find the local market, because we had to prepare for a booze cruise that following day. Along with some friends, old and new, we would sail down to Black River. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in Along the west coast of Mauritius, it is protected from the southeasterly trade, so it is wonderfully flat. And Jupiter was flying along here. It was great sailing. I did notice, however, that the main halyard was chafed and needed to be replaced. Every morning, a pod of dolphins travels a short distance along the coast here on the western side of Mauritius. It's become a very popular tourist attraction. Oh, 
They're sleepy this time of day, still waking up before they go fishing. Mauritius was a volcanic island, so it is covered in lush rainforest, craggy mountains, and waterfalls. With Mauritius's fertile soils, they grow sugarcane, which means rum. Check out all the good boys lined up neatly waiting for their run. Our good friends who we knew from Singapore live in Mauritius. They showed us around the island. Thanks guys. We knew it was time to leave Black River when birds began building nests in Jupiter. to get back to the Cordan Marina so I could replace the main halyard which is the rope that pulls up the mainsail. After climbing the mast I was horrified to find that the forestay was holding on by only millimeters of pin. A split pin had come out the toggle had opened up and only the clevis pin was holding on. This must have happened in the Indian Ocean sometime and we didn't know about it till now. We were so close to losing the mast. A week later all the parts had arrived and the rig was repaired. So now it was time to go north in Mauritius and explore Grand Bay which is a lovely big natural bay full of resorts, restaurants and sailing. Although there were boats anchored everywhere, 
we seem to be in the way of these sailing dinghies. But then we were told we are parked on the race course. Get out. Through the power of social media, we made some friends from the Philippines. Welcome aboard, Odi and Neri. They were working here in Mauritius as entertainers. Princess was curious as to why Odi had the same last name as her. Would you believe that they are cousins? And we'd like to thank them for this footage. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 B
One last trip before we leave Mauritius and head to Madagascar was Gunner's Coin, which is an ancient volcanic plug, now a nature reserve. Join us next week as we sail to the mysterious Madagascar. <laughs>